Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and another Sims Replay original design. We're calling this one the Contemporary Family Home. Yep, it is a contemporary one-story house with a bunch of bedrooms in. About three bedrooms, <laughs> yeah. And there's also room for a little pool at the back, we'll get into that later. But this is the front of the house, as you can see. I've gone for that new gabled A-frame roof that we unlocked with the farmhouse and a sort of pale pink brick, which reminds me a little bit of the Southwest for some reason. Right. Yeah, I really love the A-frame roof. It makes that one floor look a lot taller. I can imagine if yeah. they did not have any attic space, just having a vaulted ceiling mm. inside, which would be really cool. Certainly in the main living open plan space, if there is one. Agreed. So in order to increase that feeling of height, I've gone with these tall, skinny snow chalet windows at the front here and also around the house. And for landscaping, I've gone for the most recent Backyard Beautification live event. Some of these prizes came with that and they just kind of seem to match the Scandinavian fence and sidewalk to me. And also because of the sand used or the light stone used around the bushes and plants, mm -hmm. that also I think has a southwest feel to it. Mm. All right, so let's go in through the front door. This is from the Snow Chalet template here, and that gets you into this entryway. So we have a bit of contemporary decoration style there going on. Yeah. Imagine that painting is higher, but unfortunately, <laughs> you can't change the height of paintings in the Sims no. Replay. So if we duck over here, we have just a cozy little living and dining room. Very nice. So I went with these beautiful Chesterfield sofas that I collected from the farmhouse. And they're just gorgeous. I think they're a great color to have against this flooring here, which we've had in the game for a while. Yeah, and I love that low profile corner table. Yeah, this is from the Urban Furniture Limited Time event. And I think that goes for the dining room table as well. Mm -hmm. So around the dining table, we have some of these snow chalet chairs. I think the color matches really well with the walls and you've got a dark rug here compared to the tan rug over there, but it sort of complements the colors of the sofas. Yeah, I can see that. All right, so then through here, we have our kitchen and this just makes use of a lot of the farmhouse counters and whatnot. Yeah, I also think that color scheme does also bounce off the sofas and chairs in the living room. Yeah, agreed. Sort of that like slate blue yeah. kind of mm -hmm. color, yeah. So then through here, we have a double door and that opens onto the pool in the back and there's a grill over here and a couple of seating options. Again, these came from that most recent backyard beautification event and the pool is just about this size, big enough for a little bit of a soak. It looks like that's the biggest pool they could have fit on this whole <laughs> lot, but why not squeeze a pool in if you can? I think I could have made it a little bit bigger, but I wanted there to be room around the deck. Like you can yeah, see the deck exactly. is two squares wide, so yeah. All right, so let's get into the bedrooms now. First of all, if we went down this direction from the front entry, we have a bit of a hallway, as you can see. Yeah. And off of the hallway, we have one door to the left, and that gets us into a common bathroom for guests or whoever. Right. That just has toilet, sink, and shower. And the sink and shower come from that rustic farmhouse template. Then through here, on the right, is the first doorway into the first bedroom. This looks like a three-room suite for this bedroom. The entryway is its own little room, which looks like the sort of closet. Closet, yeah. Walk through closet to get into the bedroom mm -hmm. proper. And uh, we've got those lovely bunk beds. Yeah, I imagine this room being shared by two teenagers, perhaps. Yeah. So they've got bunk beds, and I went for this wall color because when I was building, I felt like it complemented the bed sheets somewhat. Yeah. And then I opted to put in this sofa because I felt like the pillows also complemented the wall color and then tied it all together with this rug from the farmhouse. So some of these colors in my mind work well together. And then over here we've got a gaming setup and teenage desk there, so the teenagers who share this room will also have to share those items. Yeah, but it seems a very sociable room with that sofa, lots of space for the teenagers and maybe space for friends as well to mm. play together. I think that's nice. Definitely key. So then through here we have a little sink area 
And from uh-huh. there, we get into the bathroom at large. Okay, so, so this is a Jack and Jill bathroom, I think. Yes. Uh-huh. So it's something that I like to do for family homes. I think it makes the family homes feel a little cozier if you think of the family members sharing a bathroom in that way, but they also have a little bit of privacy blocked off as well. Yeah. So here we've got the toilet, we've got the bathtub from the farmhouse, and we have a little shower right here. So further down the hall, if we go to this door on the right, we have the second bedroom, and this I imagine being for a grandparent or maybe two grandparents. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. And this looks like almost a mirror in terms of the shape of the rooms. It's another three-room suite with that clo- walk-through closet to get into the bedroom proper, but of course a very different style in the main bedroom. You keep saying three rooms, by the way. Which which are the three that you're envisioning as part of the suite? Well, three rooms in The Sims Replay. Mm-hmm. Because you have one, well, I know it's many because of the bathroom. You have one for the closet, one for the bedroom, and one for the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, as you said, the bathroom is many rooms. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. <laughs> I just want to make sure we were on the same page. So, yeah, this is basically a room that I think works really well for a grandparent kind of vibe. Yeah. Just because the bed and the armchair and I guess also the record player here, they just remind me of that kind of aesthetic. Mm-hmm. I mean, it could be vintage, but for us and our purposes in this house, it's for grandparents. And by the way, this stack of books, I use it a lot as clutter decoration type stuff, and it comes from, you know, the magic store, once you complete, like, the magic quest and all that. Why is it that we just can't have a stack of books? We have a stack of magazines, but not a stack of books. Yeah, so we, yeah, we always have to go to... Magical items have a whole bunch of useful clutter that we don't get in other styles. Yeah. Including the books. But just like an ordinary pile of books. Yeah. Anyway. So then through this door you have a mirror of the other room's vanity room, and then they have their doorway onto the bathroom. Very nice. Alright, so then at the end of the hall we get into the master suite, and this definitely is multiple rooms all put together. (laughs) So... The color is looking a little pink on our recording, but on my iPad screen, the red looks more, I would say, brick. Yeah, a bit more burnt orange almost. So I'm not sure why the color transfer when we record is the way it is, but hopefully it still works. So as you can see, this is the entryway and there is just a little gold plant there. And then here is the bed. (laughs) I mean, it's It's a a nice bed. Yeah, it's a Scandinavian bed and it's set up under a couple of these art clusters from the farmhouse and just a mix of modern living stuff. This is from the Modern Living Pack, which is available to purchase for a limited time. This is exercise for the master bedroom. (laughs) And then here is a privacy screen in case they wanted to put that in front of their door to the pool area. Right. Yep, that makes sense. Yeah, they've got a lot of light coming through with a whole load of these floor-to-ceiling windows. Yeah, I really like these. That's really nice. Yeah. And then through here, we have just their door onto their master bathroom suite. So they've got the double version of the farmhouse vanity. Mm Mm-hmm. And then that two double wide Mm -hmm. entryways to get through to that beautiful tub and beautiful shower. Yep. And just a couple of corner windows here to give the illusion that the bathroom has windows. (laughs) I think there's one room that you missed just off of the kitchen. Oh, yeah. It looks like we have a laundry room. Yep. This room is behind this door here. And if you drop the walls just really quick, you can see I went with the farmhouse version of the washer and dryer and the matching sink because every laundry room needs a sink. It's true. And just an additional counter for folding space or something like that. Yeah. So there's a three-bedroom house. There's tons of space for at least five people to live here, maybe six, Mm -hmm. with the grandparents' room there. And what I love that you've done here is most of the house is bedroom stuff. Often we prioritize the having these massive open-plan living rooms. But here, keeping those functional but good, but maximizing the bedrooms makes for a very different feel and a very different design to the house. Yeah, the living room is pretty small compared to all the bedroom space, and the kitchen is pretty small as well. But as you said, I just kind of, yeah, focused on the bedrooms and giving everybody, especially since people are having to share such a small house, 
I think maybe it makes sense for the bedrooms to be a little bit bigger and nicer. Yeah. All right, guys. So let us know in the comments what you think. And if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims free play on the way. Thanks for watching.